Hi there, my name is Kelly McCants and I am the owner operator of Modern June and Oilcloth Addict. What do I mean by Oilcloth Addict? Well, it means basically that I, my friend, am addicted to oilcloth, be it Mexican oilcloth, laminated cotton from all the top designers, or good old chalk cloth. You name it, I like it. I am also the proud author of this fun little book called Sewing with Oilcloth. Within the book we have 20 projects that make sewing with oilcloth fun, fresh, and easy. I have an entire chapter devoted to tips, tools, and tricks. I would like to go through a couple of those for you. Because uh, we have some top FAQs, things that people ask us all the time, all the time, all the time. And I just wanted to set the record straight. Top question is, do I need a special sewing machine? Do I need a big old burly industrial sewing machine? Or can I use my fun little home sewing machine? Use that. Easy. Everything in the book can be made on a home sewing machine. We have an industrial sewing machine because we kind of make a lot of stuff. So it's just easier that way. Uh, next big question is, do I need a special needle? No. We used to tell people go out and buy a Microtex needle, but we found that um, a nice, good, sharp, all-purpose needle, new, sharp, all-purpose needle is all you need. I prefer to do a 10 or a 12. Um, I, don't, I don't find the need for a big old strong needle. Pretty much uh, a big strong needle will big it, leave a big hole. So if you have to rip out your stitches, a nice small needle will be, be very helpful. Basically what happens is oil cloth um, will leave a hole. It won't close up like cotton will. So it's a little less forgiving. So go with a um, nicer needle. Next question, people ask me, what kind of thread do I need? Do I need special thread? Nope, nope, nope. All you need is a nice all-purpose thread. Go with your, your Gooderman, your Coates and Clark, and you're good to go. There is one thing that I do suggest to people if you're going to start sewing with oilcloth. If you're going to make a lot of things, you might want to invest, if you haven't already, a nice Teflon foot. It's just coated with um, a thin layer of Teflon and it'll help glide over the uh, slick fabric so you don't get your fabric kind of bunched up into the feed dogs. Sometimes if um, it gets caught the stitches get really tiny so for nice even stitches you want either a Teflon foot or this handy dandy roller foot. They're rollers that just slide slide right across the fabric. I like this one better. The reason is is this open toe foot. It's called an open embroidery foot, I believe. I call it the Super H. If you um, are using the, you can see here, uh, this is a little bit easier to see down inside. I want to see where my needle's going and see what it's doing down there. If you don't, have a fancy foot and you don't have um, the time to get one, say you just want to get started on a project right away, go ahead grab some painter's tape, coat the bottom, just the bottom, of the open toe foot that comes with your regular sewing machine, take an X-Acto knife, cut it around there, and you're good to go. You're ready to sew. All you need is pretty much everything you have. So, thank you so much. Please, if you haven't already, grab up a copy of my book. Um, I, and I Please, show me what you make from it. I can't wait to see your lovely projects. Thank you, and have a good day.